you want to change something here or if the dimensions don't suit you, we go to edit the sketch on which the outline of this hanger was based. And here we will change the dimension slightly. And here I will change the length of this dimension to for example 90 millimeters and this dimension here can be changed to for example 40 okay and now i change this dimension i enter 40 and everything works as you can see even though a problem occurred we can solve it very quickly and easily we made changes in the sketch here i close the sketch and the changes were applied to the model if you want to change something we simply go to edit the sketch and introduce changes within the sketch for instance in this case, I would like to remove this equal length constraint. It is constraint number 28. Therefore, I locate this constraint on the constraint list. Constraint number 28. I right click delete. The constraint has been removed. I need to define this dimension. Therefore, I select this line, press D, and here I will enter, for example, 50 millimeters, just so this segment of the hanger is a bit longer. I close the sketch and the changes were applied to the model. And now, if you want to change the width, depth of this hanger, we simply edit the operation based on which we created the solid. We enter a new value, click OK, and the changes are applied to the model. So, as you can see, in FreeCAD, we can design these types of components very easily, and based on such a 3D model, you can prepare a program for a 3D printer.